Somebody said that success is not owned. Success is leased. And you have to pay the rent every day. Sound good, don't you? I'm different. The kids know me, I'm different. I don't believe that. Because the reason I'm telling why, why I don't believe that, right? I believe in ownership. So there are different things for different people, right? Some people lease homes, some people lease cars, right? Sometimes it's beneficial if you're in business to get tax write off. It can be very beneficial to you, right? Uh, you lease a car, different things of that nature. It can be beneficial to you. Lease a house, you don't have the responsibilities of fixing the repairs if something goes wrong. It can be beneficial to you. But guess what happened? You never take ownership of it. So all you gotta do is make a call and say, hey man, hey, my toilet backed up. I need you to get down here and fix it. But see, when you own success, you gotta fix your toilet. So what happens is when I accept ownership of success, then I also have to take ownership of my failures. I can't call nobody and say, hey, you ain't wake me up this morning. That's why I didn't make it to school. Hey, my alarm clock didn't go off. That's why I was late for work. Hey, babe, I knew we were supposed to go out tonight, but the boys got tickets to the Orlando Magic game. We can't do it tonight. Can't do that. You have to accept ownership because it's going to require you to sacrifice. So you're going to have to take that. Hey, bro, I can't make it tonight. I promise wife will be going out. So I'll catch you on the next round. I know you got front row seats. I know it sounds good. I know we're going to ball out tonight, but I got a commitment to my wife. I know it sounds good. I know trying to go hang out with the Airbnb and party and I know that stuff. It sounds good, but I got an assignment that's due Monday morning. And I'm trying to go to the next level and that party is not going to take me to the next level. I know it sounds real good. I know y'all going to have fun, but that party is not going to put no money in my pocket. Because I'm trying to get that NIL deal, you know what I'm saying? Because now these are new opportunities that you kids have available to by just being to do the things that you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. What happens when opportunities come knocking at your door and you ain't ready? Whose fault is that? You can't call the landlord because you lease it. That's why I say I disagree with that statement because I'm going to own my success. I'm not leasing that. You understand? Know because if it didn't happen, it's my fault. I can't blame the coach. I can't blame my mom. I can't blame my daddy. I can't blame the neighbor. The dog ate my homework. I can't blame the dog. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's my fault. So I'm going to own my success. I'm going to own my failures because guess what's going to happen in the end, y'all? It's going to help me become the better version of myself. Because if I just, if I just lease it and I, I can just bounce it off with anybody, I'm not becoming the best version of myself. Because when adversity comes, guess what I'm going to do? I'm just going to bounce it off on somebody else.